Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Edgewood channel. So in this video, we will be dealing with a very simple topic that is stomatitis. So we are all familiar with this topic because it is very common in case of infectious diseases or other health related problems. So please subscribe this channel and hit the bell button for more updates. So what is actually stomatitis? Stoma means mouth. Itis, that is actually the word which will be attaching to the inflammation. So what is actually glossitis? That is the inflammation of tongue. So this is actually the inflammation of buccal or oral space. Gingivitis means gum infection. Inflammation of palate, that is palatitis. Lips is calitis and teeth is odontitis. So these all together will constitute stomatitis. Stoma is the opening of the mouth and these all are present in the opening of the mouth. And this all together is known as stomatitis. So etiology, how is the stomatitis happening? So it may be actually due to the traumatic injury on the oral mucosa or trauma during mastication or the rough edges or the fodder pans and thorns etc. Or laceration or injury by sharp foreign objects. So sometimes some chemical agents can introduce stomatitis that is acid, alkali, corrosive chemicals, written drugs etc. So there are infectious agents which will be causing stomatitis, different type of stomatitis that is bacterial stomatitis, viral stomatitis and mycotic stomatitis. So there are infectious agents like uh, actinobacillus lignarsi, streptococcus, staphylococcus etc. In case of viral etiology that is the render test. FMD, in case of FMD, vesicular stomatitis is very common and mucosal disease and also vesicular stomatitis which is actually caused by the rhabdovirides, vesicular exanthema, blue tongue in sheep, PPR in small ruminants, etc. So the mycotic etiology, Monesia species and Candida species, they will be having a typical stomatitis. So the symptoms which is present in the stomatitis is actually painful mastication or the smacking sound or the they will be attaching their lips and they will be producing profuse salivation smacking sound will be there loss of appetite swelling of face bad breath foul smell from the mouth and the nose many oral lesions like vesicular ulcerative necrotic lesions uh, and this may be like wet white velvety deposits on the tongue which is very special in case of ppr so there are different types of stomatitis that is catarrhal stomatitis, papular stomatitis, vesicular stomatitis, ulcerative stomatitis and necrotic stomatitis. So you can just define all the types of stomatitis based on these words that is necrotic means they will be having necrosis of the tissue. Vesicular means they will be having vesicles. So papules they will be having papules and all ulcerative stomatitis they will be having ulceration. So the treatment. When we are moving to the treatment protocol, first we should have to really use the drug which will not harm the tissue. So we will be using boroglycerin solution, so mouth washing using potassium permanganate, so supportive treatment using vitamin B12 and vitamin A. So we have to also consider about using the parenteral antibiotics. Also people are using the dolozel that is lignocaine hydrochloride which will be having a lignocaine content, it is also effective. So these are actually the types of stomatitis. You can see these are the necrotic stomatitis. See, you can see profuse salivation. See, you can see the ulcerative stomatitis. Stomatitis. Thank you, guys.